Oh my god. We have just received word that the enemy has overtaken the Sprawl's military forces. We're losing. While the city's walls continue to hold, the remainder of the Petrardian forces are expected to join the siege in the coming days. This is a dark day for the Sprawl. I'm sorry. As you can tell by my voice, this is a very serious thing I'm saying. We will be keeping this channel clear for instructions from the palace and other emergency updates. I got everyone killed. Oh God, it's all over. I should find dad. We need to get somewhere safe. Man. You look like you're gonna cry. I killed everyone. Oh, fun. Be nice. Dad, I just heard the news. Oh, hello, Cecil. Welcome to my bedroom. Have you come to join us in being slaughtered by an invading army? Sorry for the intrusion, but this is official business. I was sent by Queen Desdemona herself to retrieve the Chronometer 3000 device. No. No. I'm not just going to give it to you, Cecil. Dr. B gave it to me, and it's my job to protect it. I don't want to do this, Lil. My instructions are to bring you with me to the war room if you don't comply. Then it sounds like I'm coming with you, Cece. Cece. Don't call me that. Ha <laughs> ha, Cece. I'm coming too. I know you got fired, but does that mean I did too? Should I be at work right now? <laughs> Fine. Dad, suit up. Oh, uh, what if they kill Dad to get the meet the machine? What makes you think I've got a suit? Right. Let's go. They're gonna use dad. I know, they're gonna use dad to get the machine. We need to break the princess's spell. Like the spell on the princess. Desi wouldn't have any of this. Ah, there she is, your majesty. Lilith, the gate guardsman. Yes, Lilith. I see you chose not to simply hand over the Chronometer 3000 as requested. No, she did not. Stubborn as a mule gets it from her mother. And I'm her dad, Hamish. Hello, your majesty. I'm here to inquire about getting my gate guard gig back. Silence. Whoa. Uh, advisors? Hey, we're Stryker and Ash and Milcom. Shouldn't they be here advising you? Why does she look trance? Because she is tranced. That thing around her neck is, is hypnotizing her. Her Majesty grew tired of them working in the shadows against her. By now, they should be a few miles outside of our borders, or rotting in the dungeon waiting to be hanged by their traitorous necks. I oh, honestly okay. forgot which lever I pulled. That's enough. Lilith, the Chronometer 3000, hand it over now. No. No. I beg your pardon. Dr. B entrusted me with the Chronometer 3000 to test it out at the guard shed, so I could make sure that only the right people would make it into the sprawl. A position you sullied with your own personal agenda and no longer hold. You do not need the chronometer any longer. Tyronius does. No! I'm sorry, does that mean there's an opening? <laughs> How dare you interrupt Her Majesty, you useless, pathetic, <gasps> nobody guards! Hey, now! So I am still a guardsman. <laughs> Enough of this. Guards, Papa. lock the doors. They are not leaving until they hand over the Chronometer 3000. Ah, uh, where's Dr. B? Nobody's doing anything with a chronometer until I hear from Dr. B. Unfortunately, the good doctor is indisposed. There was a small mishap at the dig site, and let's just say she fell to her death. They killed B! What? You killed Dr. B? Well, she was hanging at the edge of that pit when I left her, so who can say? Ah! Who can say indeed? <laughs> Your Majesty, are you hearing this? Testimona, snap out of it! She can't help you now, child. The Athanatos Amulet of Total Mental Sublimation is among the oldest magic in the world, and its spell is not easily broken. How do I do Only it? the power of true friendship can release the spell. <gasps> friendship hold. is magic! <laughs> we, we are, are true friends. Help me, my friend. What? I didn't know you two were friends. Shit. 
<laughs> Give me the chronometer 3000 now or I'll kill you. Why do you even want the chronometer anyway? Why? What do you mean, why? The war is lost. Thousands of soldiers have died. And worse, those bloated Petradians have access to the dig site. The sprawl has only been on the forefront of technological and magical advancement because of the power crystals discovered there. That's why you have the chronometer 3000 in the first place. But now the dig site is lost to us due to your be poor hilarious? choices. Exactly like Make the right one now and hand over the device. Say I was to hand it over, how would you fix everything? Lil, I feel like I'm dropping the ball as the adult in the room. Should I be interjecting more? <laughs> Papa! <laughs> Dad! <laughs> All I have to do is get the princess to marry Prince Phineas instead of the Praetor, and kill the leader of the Goblin Liberation Army before he can interrupt the wedding ceremony. Then the war will never happen. But, but... It won't work! The side she doesn't choose will always start a war with the Sprawl! Yeah. How could you know that? What is this, your second playthrough? <laughs> My plan will work. I can't let you do this! You can't kill Chuck! He's my hero! I thought I was your hero, you good-for-nothing little worm! Feel my wrath! Wait, Master, don't! Oh no! Lil, please! Tell Julian, I... No! Stop turning people into Dash! ash! No! Dad, let's get out of here. Uh-oh. Papa, please don't turn Papa into a pile of ash. Please don't turn Papa into a pile of ash. But the doors and the guards. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but hold my hand. There it is. The chronometer 3000. Give it to me. But we can't use it outside the guard shed. Clicked it. Did I click it in time? I like didn't register. I was supposed to click it, and then and then I don't know if he was close enough. I was getting ready to just watch them jump at it. What happened? Where am I? The palace. Oh, the wedding. But it's not the same. Desdemona's gonna marry Praetor Cargan, and there's that bastard Tyronius, and he's got my chronometer. What is he gonna do? I now pronounce you married. You may now kiss. Oh my God, Dad! <gasps> Dad! No, 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 no! I've been pin cushioned with arrows a few times in my day, Ugh, but this time they hit something important. To think I've lived through a whole war only to die at a wedding. Will, no! I'm sorry I failed you. Papa! I love you, Will. No! <clears throat> no! No! Dad. No! Don't do this to me. This can't be happening. Dad, come on, it up. Please, come back. No! Drat. Even without that infernal goblin interfering, things still escalate. This won't do at all. Oh well, off to another timeline with, with more Papa. favorable variables. Papa, with Papa. Papa's alive, right? <laughs> Papa? Oh. God, what? Daddy! Dad, Yay! On. What? I'm unarrowed? What's going on? Yeah, I'm not really sure, dude. I don't have time to explain. I'm sorry, I'm inconveniencing you? Yeah. I've got no time for another tutorial. Um. Go to your time right Okay. Try not to get his attention, but go stand by that necromancer. Ooh, spooky. Whatever you say, kiddo. Select the Ed with the official efficient if you need to advance to the next timeline. Okay. So, can I talk to him? Ouch! What is that? Some kind of force field? I can't get anywhere close to Tyronius while it's up. Maybe there's someone who could help me disable it. 
Okay. Would you talk to somebody? Thank you. There's my under and this suit our focus on the ceremony. There's nothing they could do to help. No, okay. Let me try this one. Come on. Walk over here. Yeah. You won't let me get near him. There we go. Are you sure? Oh, no, 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 no. No, that's how you advance it, isn't it? No, I don't want to. Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. One button, one button. Come over here. Yeah, you. Again, despite your humble background, lovely work planning this wedding. Mm -hmm. And you? He's watching the ceremony intently. You don't, uh, you don't want to risk hearing his litany of names and titles again. Okay. You? Keep your eyes peeled for anyone using the wedding as a pretext to do something suspicious. Okay. The job never stops, Lil. All right, cool. Uh, Malcolm? He winks at you knowingly. Okay. You decide not to serve them another set. I only wish Sprankles could be here to see this. There, there, your grace. I now pronounce you married. You may now kiss. Oh, this won't do. The war is still going to happen. Off to another timeline. Okay. Well, his dad doesn't die if he stands over there, so that's good. What's going on? I don't have time to. Okay. I so go stand over there. Okay. Right, cool. Try not to get his attention. I'm gonna but kill go stand keep by that him over there. Who? So I still need to find somebody who's gonna help. You? Gary, you're still good in this timeline. How nice of you to say. I need your help. See that necromancer by the altar? I didn't until you pointed him out. How very strange. <sighs> Well, he's protected by a force field. Do you have a spell or something that could help me with that? I'm pretty new at this, but I should have something. I just don't have enough mana stored up to cast it. But... Oh, I shouldn't say. Uh, life and death. This yeah. is a matter of life and death. Spill it. Okay, fine. But you didn't hear it from me. The secret ingredient in Monty's soup is narcotics grade pixie dust. That's why everyone around here is so obsessed with it. It's really not all that great. And? And narcotics grade pixie dust is a favorite of students at the Mages Guild because it gives them a major mana boost. Get me some soup and I should That's be able to execute the spell. That's a lot of words to say, give me the, the soup. Alright, soup. Give me soup. Thank you. Let's go. Thanks for choosing Monty's home of the soup. Okay. I've got it. No. That's some good sh. <laughs> I'm brimming with mana now, baby. At least I hope that's what I'm brimming with. Here goes nothing! Alright, cool. Now I've got you. Dad, give me a hand with this clown. How's this for being a useless, pathetic nobody? You continue to annoy me. Lightning! No! God, unarmed, Hamish fell immediately to the one of Tyronius' fatal spells. The major strangled Lil to death. I guess Dad can't take him down unarmed. Hmm, let's see if I can do something about that. Okay, so we need to arm Dad. What are we doing up here? I don't have time to explain, but I need to find you a weapon. And when I give the signal, I'm going to need you to fight somebody. No problem. Okay. I showed up pretty drunk and ready to go. Who am I fighting? See that necromancer-looking guy? That guy. Oh, that might be tough. He looks spry. 
I can try my best, but I'd feel better if I had some kind of weapon to protect you with. No, weapon, weapon, weapon. All right. I'm on it. So she has a weapon. Can I take her weapon? No. Okay. This one has a weapon. I don't have time to explain, but I need to borrow your weapons. Not gonna happen. Okay. It's really important. Why? Uh... Ballet. I wanna join the ballet! Well, in that case, take these. You'll need them. Hey! Okay, if you FaceTime Alice with Hamish, she will be equipped with this weapon. Nice, so now we need to go and do the soup, don't we? Oh, there's no soup there. Oh. But, 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 how do we break the spell then? Ouch! What is that? Ah, oh, so we do still need to go to somebody. Let's go to this dude. He's new. Echo! I need your help. See that necromancer by the altar? I didn't until you pointed him out. How very strange. Well, he's protected by a force field. Do you have a spell or something that could help me with that? I'm an old wizard, Lil. I don't know if I still have it in me. Life or death? This is a matter of life and death! Spill it! Okay, fine. I need a shard of pure ice to complete this here magical elixir to cast the spell you need. You're okay. drinking what looks like a glass of straight vermouth. That's right. My magical elixir. Okay. Ice for your drink, and then you'll cast the spell. Great. Absolutely. <laughs> Great. Okay, awesome. So, ice here. Beautiful. Okay. Ice back here. I got it! Cheers, Lil. Bottoms up. Oh, stop with the spell. Now for the spell. Alrighty. So now, we go face him. How's this for being a useless, pathetic nobody? You continue to annoy me. Lightning! No! Don't even think about yeah. it. Yeah! Why, you meddlesome... Now, Lil, get the doohickey. Heading home. Bye. Love you. I love you too, James. Hurry up, though. Not before I go back one more time. No! No! Oh, my goodness. Did we get it? Is Will. it good? Is it us? Are we, did we win? Lil! Hello? What? Dad? I just had the strangest... Wait a minute. Where am I? What happened? Do you want the long version or the short version? Thank you for the follow. Don't be cute. I remember we were back in time at the royal wedding. Tyronius had the chronometer. You distracted him and I grabbed for it and... And before I could even blink, we were right back where we started, in the war room with the princess. Except Tyronius wasn't there, and you were unconscious. You've been in bed for a week. What about princess? You've been muttering some very strange stuff. A scary tree monster became a mayor? Ridiculous. Whoa. Tyronius wasn't there? What happened to him? And the war? And Desdemona? There's someone waiting to see you who might do a better job of filling you in than me. Hello, Lil. Oh, you're so sweet. Yay! Desdemona, you're being mind controlled by Tyronius. You need to listen to me. It's really me. I'm not under Tyronius' spell anymore. Yay! You're not wearing.
wearing his amulet anymore. Did you know that it was allowing him to control your mind? No, I wasn't aware of that when he gave it to me. And that a spell could only be broken by true friendship. And then you started to break free because I was your true friend. So are we <laughs> like besties now? <laughs> Again, I don't recall any of this. As far as I remember, he tried to grab the chronometer from you, then in a flash of light, he was gone. There hasn't been a trace of him or the device since. Is there a chance he still has it? Is he back in time right now, messing things up even more? It's doubtful. From what we understand from Dr. B's notes, once a chronometer has been synced to an individual's life force, it can prove disastrous to anyone else who tries to meddle with it. Oh. So, Dr. B? She's really... This is what I'm going to streams with. Hi, I'm Cloud. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I am... Um, when, when I join streams, people can't say my name. So I always just say, like, Finny's fine. Finny's fine. Yes. Unfortunately, she remains dead. When you reappeared without the chronometer, we lost the ability to go back and fix things, including the terrible things I may have said or done while oh. under his control. Finny. I'm so sorry. Can you ever forgive me? Of course! Of course I can. You weren't you. I can only imagine what it would have been like to be under that creep spell. Thank you, Lil. And can you forgive me, Your Majesty, for forgetting to tell you how grateful we are, allowing me to return to my post, and for personally taking such good care of Lil this week? Uh-huh. Of course, Hamish. But the sprawl is grateful to your daughter, Lil, for all she has sacrificed to save it. And Papa didn't die. But the war, has it changed? Tyronius said that he was going back to kill Chuck and... Chuck is alive and well, thanks to you. And we still lost the war. Uh-oh. But with Tyronius missing, things seem to have taken a turn for the better. We are still not out of the woods, but the worst is behind us. The Mages' Guild has scattered. We discovered that some of the more loyal mages to Tyronius were supporting the enemy army with magic. But without this advantage, they were incapable of delivering a fatal blow to our fair city. Oh. The enemy is still there, just outside the walls, and months of negotiations are ahead. But hopefully I can avoid any further bloodshed. Stupid mages! Well, that's good news at least. So, what now? What do you mean, what now? Well, do you need me to unmask a goblin spy, <coughs> work the night shift, harass any of your advisors? Lil, don't you get it? It's over. You don't have to do any of that anymore. Let the grown-ups do their jobs. Besides, I don't want you to be a guardsman anymore. I'd like you to just be my friend. Ah, is it the queen of grown-up and Lil's 12? That sounds good to me. Join me at the palace once you're feeling up to it. I'll have the kitchen cook up some tacos. Finally! <laughs> Papa! Talk about fancy friends. She seems nice. Ugh, I'd love to spend the day with you, but I've got a shift down at the guard shed. You can do whatever you want. Chill. Go play. Have that childhood you keep talking about. Or, you know, join me for another shift? Eh, no. <laughs> Are you kidding? Did you not see what we just went through? <laughs> Me, a 12-year-old, given way too much responsibility, almost destroyed time and space. Why don't you do your own job for f**k's sakes? I don't have a f**king childhood. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, what ending. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Oh my god, I loved that so much. Without the burden of Tyronius's amulet affecting her judgment, Desdemona became the strong ruler, the sprawl needed to negotiate its surrender and lead the subsequent peace talks. Yay! She was able to win a number of concessions from the enemy that allowed the sprawl to retain some of its freedom under occupation. As it happens, in secret, a certain hooded figure leads a growing resistance that will one day overthrow the occupiers. Yay. Desdemona and Chuck's marriage was, unfortunately, no match for the pressures put on them by the Sprawl's defeat. 
The divorce no. was as amicable as any royal divorce could be. Oh. A source in the palace shared that the two remain friends. Oh, I wonder if what would happen if we like saved the kingdom if we didn't actually like lose the war. When the sprawl fell to the enemy forces, the occupiers' hatred and intolerance towards non-human races took greater root in the city. This Aww. forced many underground, which, if you were a mole person, is no big deal. Not great for the others, though. The Goblin Liberation Army continued meeting in secret and has become an instrumental part of the insurgency movement against the Sprawl's occupying forces. On the final day of the war, a power-hungry Tyronius used the wicket on his three rival advisers. Thankfully, he was confused by the contraption and accidentally denied them instead of sending them to the dungeon. Uh -huh. Ousted, they walked to the nearest tavern outside of the sprawl and began to plot how to overthrow Tyronius and save the queen. It wouldn't be necessary in the end, as Lil did their jobs for them again. <laughs> but the act of plotting over drinks really brought the trio together. Ah. After the fall of the sprawl, Councilwoman Ash was enlisted by the enemy to be their intermediary to the Queen. The occupiers saw her as an effective and ruthless new hire, but they greatly underestimated her spycraft. This employee of the month secretly fed intel to the resistance, which monumentally weakened the enemy's hold mm -hmm. on the sprawl. Ah, good girl. Lieutenant Stryker's execution was immediately scheduled by the enemy. However, before she okay. could be hanged, she disappeared from prison. Cries of Viva la Goblution were heard in the vicinity of the dungeon, and although she hasn't been seen, it is believed that she is in hiding, assisting the insurgency. Oh. Malcolm disappeared as did a not insignificant sum from the palace treasury. <laughs> Meanwhile, rumors out of Fireball Canyon tell of a new circus, the most outrageous and lavish circus the world has ever seen. The rumors also tell of its charismatic ringleader and the fish he wears on his belt. <laughs> Dr. Beatrix von Matterhorn's body was never recovered. Since her presumed death, Lil has been having the most vivid dreams of Dr. B, traveling through alternate versions of the sprawl. In these dreams, the lost scientist seems to be trying to tell her something, but Lil can never remember exactly what it is upon waking. Papa. Lil and Hirsch continue to live above the Twisted Sisters so Tavern. Glad he doesn't die. They were able to purchase new furniture and a second outfit, thanks to a gift yes. from the palace for Get Lil's out. role in saving the world. <laughs> Lil vowed to never set foot in the guard shed again. All she wanted was a proper childhood and to even sometimes throw rocks at things. <laughs> With that being said, a new goblin ball season is upon us, and Hamish has been trying to wear her down. He lives in hope that she's got at least one more shift in her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what about old Echo the Wanderer, you ask? Well, that's me. I'll continue to chronicle the happenings of the sprawl, from the migration of the birds to the illegal fish fights down at the docks. So remember, when you get a snoot full of pungent peace blossom in your nose, I'll be there. <laughs> when you overorder pizza at your place of business and people are invited to take some home, I'll be there. And when the next calamity threatens the lives of the good people of the sprawl, I'll be there. Ah, oh, Echo. Ah, <laughs> oh, yay. So cute. Oh, I loved it. Ah. Oh. Oh my god, that was so cute. 